did that was man strictly for the street man it's your boy Roddy man. I'm an addict for sneakers I'm an addict for Sneaker Addicts, what's good? It's your boy DJ Dells. We got the upcoming Air Jordan 3 in hand. I'm going to give you a detailed look. Subscribe, of course, if you're new. Plus, hit the little notification bell. This way, you get notified as soon as the new videos are uploaded. Plus, when I go live, you can watch the stream live. We got my Sneaker Addict t-shirts available now. Fits true to size. Support the channel today by picking one up. That will be linked in the description box below. Now, these shoes will be releasing in a few weeks. I have had a bunch of people requesting a review, and I got you. I will always try to do my best. Always hit me up on social media. My Twitter is DJ D-E-L-Z, DJ Dells. My Instagram is Real DJ Dells. Always hit me up. Leave your comments. Leave what you want on this channel, and I will do my best to deliver that. Now, this shoe right here, I think, is absolutely hideous horrible disgraceful to jordan and i mean disgraceful to michael jordan what the hell is this i'm gonna be honest this is what i see when i look at this shoe because of it having that kind of aged midsole that sail color which they love to use nowadays which i don't understand why it just makes the damn shoe look old and almost like dirty like it was a dirty ass pair of shoes that you cleaned really well when it comes to the midsole and now it's off white it looks like a old bootleg pair of jordan threes when bootlegs were just horrible stupid colorways that were totally made up by these bootleggers so you would see like these weird ass colorways and you'd see them like in new york city you'd see them in the streets like in chinatown and this down the third or in midtown you'd see you know the people selling them in the streets you'd walk by and you'd shake your head like what the hell are they trying to sell here these look crazy like orange and green and blue like just stupid ass colorways that don't even look like the real jordan they're making bootlegs with their own color schemes that's what i see when i look at these but it's like a pair that was like lost you know and it aged like an old ass pair of bootleg shoes that's been aged that's what i see when i look at these right here no offense if you like them if you like them defend it leave in the comments tell me yo delzy you need glasses, man. These things are fire. What the hell are you talking about? The sole that looks kind of aged, that sale look, it's more of cream. It's not aged. Get some damn glasses, Delzy. Go in in the comment box. I'm just giving my opinion. This is an opinion show right here. I get the new sneakers. I give you my opinion, and then you leave yours. So let's get up close. As you can see, you've got your black elephant print. And then above that, you got that gray. And the upper, the material's decent. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's not awful. You've got your hits of green right there, that chlorophyll green. And you've got some full grain leather in white with your hits of black by the laces. More green up top, and you do have a green keychain. Of course, it's got to be green, right? Chlorophyll. <laughs> Flip it right. And then you've got your elephant print on the heel with your air unit, your black and quote unquote sail midsole. And we'll take a look at the outsole right there, which no lie, I honestly expected it to look dirty. Like even some like grass stains, like you were cutting the lawn in them. Maybe this shoe was inspired by Jordan's earlier days before he became rich and famous when he used to cut the lawn and do yard work. Like it just looks like a dirty ass sneaker, especially that sale, man, with the green. For some reason, when I turned it over, I just felt like I was gonna see grass stains on it. I don't know, am I going crazy right now? Possibly. Looking at the back of the shoe, you've got your gray guard with your green jump man and your air. And then just backing it up one time. Quick look at the medial side as far as the fit to Jordan 3s. Definitely 100% go true to size on Jordan 3s. Do not go up half a size because they will crease. Unless you want your Jordans to crease, go up half a size. I don't care if you have a wide foot, stay true to size. If you have a narrow foot, you probably could even go down half a size on these. Now this is a tip that that I love to do on every single Jordan 3 retro shoe because a big problem with these is the paint cracking, right, on the midsoles. So every single video, I always like to say this tip because you may be new to the channel. And once again, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. 
because we got a lot of content, daily content here. And bang that thumbs up button too. So to prevent cracking on your actual paint on the midsole, I suggest when you buy your pair of Jordan 3s, even if you're going to like keep them and let them marinate in the closet for a year or two before breaking them out because you want to stunt a little bit when everyone beats up their pairs, always try them on and wear them in the house for about a half an hour because this way you will provide some pressure to the midsole and that paint. So the paint will get used to that pressure. If you just buy the shoe, leave it in your closet for a couple of years, and then you put your feet into it, that midsole has been sitting with no pressure ever. That paint has been sitting on that midsole with no pressure ever. So when you step on it, that old ass paint that's never felt any type of pressure is going to feel that wrath and crack, crack. That shit is going to crack so fast. So that's why I say wear the shoe for about a half an hour. Apply pressure on the shoe so that this midsole with the paint is used to pressure later on. You got to do that. I'm telling you now, your paint will most likely be A-OK -okay if you do that. Letting them sit in the box without ever getting any kind of pressure right off the bat, you're just looking for trouble with that midsole cracking. Bird's eye view on the toe, check it out. And then you've got your white perforated tongue. You've got flat white laces to your white tongue and your core filled green jump man. With a quick look at the insole right there. Check it out. And there you go with a close-up HD look at these shoes. Once again, I hate them, but that doesn't mean you have to hate them too. You could love these and I totally dig it. At the end of the day, you shouldn't care about anything you wear when it comes to other people looking at you. It should always be about what makes you feel good, what you like. I could see the other side of the coin. People saying, man, I got outfits that look sick with this. So you don't know what you're talking about. Like, I totally understand what you're saying. But with me, I'm more of like an OG colorway kind of guy to make a long story longer. That's just my thing. That's my cup of tea. I just am not a fan of this, especially with the midsole. I mean, I'm looking at that damn midsole and it's just, as I said, like I expect when I flip it over and look at the outsole to see grass stains and dirt and may maybe a little bit of boo-boo from stepping on some dog boo-boo walking down the street or something. I just expect that outsole to look horrible because of the fact that it looks like a dirty ass shoe that's what i see as far as from the midsole down it's not a good look and they need to stop this like jordan brand needs to stop this once again another review where i'm gonna say with jordan brand hire some people that got some good taste that know what the people want for crying out loud man give me a call jordan brand i'm telling you i could help you guys i mean and it's not even rocket science with a damn shoe like this make the midsole white for christ's sakes why would you make it this ugly ass used looking sale it just looks awful to me and um if you like sale Write that. Write in the comments, I love sale. If you hate sales, then let us know how you feel about sale too, man. But me, I hate that sale color. Like, get that crap out of here, man. It's just terrible. And the whole colorway to me is terrible. It's awful to me. It's painful for me to even view this right here. This has been a painful video for me as someone who's such a sneaker addict just to look at such a horrible colorway on such a legendary pair of sneakers i mean the jordan 3 gotta be everyone's top five pair of retros ever as far as with silhouettes how dare you do this to such an amazing silhouette michael jordan i bet has never seen this colorway if he did he would be furious he may grab that cigar that he puffs and just burn you in the damn forehead right now for this damn ugly colorway whoever put this crap together this is just blasphemy stephen a smith style blasphemy holy moly i just don't understand why why, why are why, you guys why? not giving us sneakers that we want why are you releasing this crap and it's just gonna sit on the damn shelves collect dust and i don't mind sneakers sitting I, that's not what i'm saying too some may say why well you want sneakers to just fly off the shelves and sell out like that bing bang boom no i love when they sit so everyone can just go and get their pair la di da di da walk into the store cha-ching buy it i'm out you don't have to go that day i love when sneakers sit like them um south beach jordan 8s I love those. And that's a new colorway, but it's got that South Beach vibe, that San Antonio Spurs vibe. 
I love this sneaker. Really dope. I'm definitely picking up a pair once they go on sale because they're definitely going to go on sale because they're sitting everywhere. But with this thing right here, you probably have to pay me to wear this. Honestly, you probably have to cut me a check to wear these. That's how ugly I think these are. This may be one of the worst colorways of an Air Jordan 3 ever in the history of Jordan brand. So congratulations. You just made the list. Jericho style. You made the list of the ugliest Air Jordan 3 colorway ever in existence by your boy DJ Dells the sneaker addict if you love this kind of talk you'll love my podcast it's over at patreon.com backslash DJ Dells it's an hour long and once you become a member all the episodes unlocked we got over 33 episodes an hour long that's a lot of content that's uncensored unfiltered and you can only hear it there become a member and you also are entered into a monthly giveaway so it's a beautiful thing Make sure to check that out. I will post information on these sneakers on my blog, thesneakerratic.com. On the morning of the release, I say go to my blog around 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time if you're looking for these, and I definitely will help you out. Plus, on my Twitter over at DJ Dells. Everyone, have a blessed day, and don't forget, if you like these shoes, don't be offended by what I'm saying. It's just sneakers. We're just having fun here. Everyone likes different things. I love sushi. I bet some of you guys hate sushi. You guys may like cream cheese. I hate cream cheese. You show me cream cheese, and you can't it to me. I may run away from you, man. Like, I, I'm, I fear cream cheese. It's the weirdest shit ever. Like, I just don't like that stuff. So, everyone got different taste buds, and that's how it is with sneakers. So, just because I'm dogging these, don't take offense, and I'm just having some fun here. Much love. We out of here.